Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and today we are going to make a simple vanilla cake. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my page down below. There's also a link to my easy and delicious buttercream along with supplies that I use for this video. This recipe is actually a Dr. Box mix. If you're looking for a quick and easy cake, this is where you'll want to start. In other episodes, I will show you how to make cakes from scratch along with more complex frostings and fillings. Even though this is a simple cake, it is versatile enough to use for tiered cakes and novelty cakes. Let's get started. All right, let's rock out this Dr. Box mix. I'm using a vanilla that's by Betty Crocker use whichever brand you'd like they probably all turn out the same and then on the back of the box it'll tell you to use water I'm changing that with milk that I've added about a tablespoon of vinegar to kind of converts it into a buttermilk it's not a buttermilk but it has the same kind of properties use the amount of oil on the back of the box this is just a regular vegetable oil I'm sure you could use any oil you want but remember when your oil smells or tastes strong it's going to taste that way in a cake probably little bit of almond extract on that last bowl. I like that in my vanilla. And this is a vanilla bean paste. I tried this brand. I'm not going to say what brand it is. I wasn't really impressed. I was looking for more of a concentrated flavor. Didn't really get that. Of course, you get those cute little specks of vanilla in there, vanilla bean. And then your eggs. The smart and responsible thing to do would be to put your eggs in a separate bowl uh, make sure they're not rotten or they don't smell funny or that you don't get shells in your recipe. I was being a bit lazy here. Then you're going to put it on a low speed at first just to help to incorporate the ingredients. The box will tell you 30 seconds, really just whenever everything starts coming together. It's hard to turn it up to high speed and watch everything fly out of your bowl. Then you're going to scrape it down. Uh, this is important, of course, because you want all those ingredients that are stuck to the side of the bowl to get evenly mixed in. Now, it is kind of hard to screw a box mix up. They, they make it uh, almost foolproof. But scrape down, get all those delicious ingredients. You can see some of that vanilla bean paste there that hadn't been mixed in quite well yet. Turn it back up to medium high. We're going to speed it up here. And then it's just going to come together. Most batters, uh, you don't need more than a minute or two. My chocolate cake, it takes a whole whopping minute. See, there's your consistency. And that's it. Pretty simple. Put it in your prepared baking pans. I use a nonstick baking spray and a piece of parchment on the bottom. And that's it. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.